walking alone in the desert, without road access and without water or electricity, build a 14-foot diameter round earth bag tiny house for less than $2,000 and within three months. I'm going to try. My goal is to build an earth bag tiny house on this plot of land in the southwest United States, which is close to the border of Mexico. There are several restrictions that are going to make this more challenging than a typical earth bag project. The first restriction, which is probably the biggest, is that there is no road access to the build site. The site is over three quarters of a mile, or 1.2 kilometers, from the nearest paved road. This means that I cannot get any large lies or materials that require a truck delivery. This limitation is why I chose to build with earth bags instead of other construction methods. Carrying in other types of construction materials would be very labor intensive, but carrying in several hundred empty earth bags is very easy. The second big limitation is that there is no water at the site. Water is added to dirt when filling earth bags in order to make the bags harden better. I have two six-gallon containers that I will use to hand carry water to the site. Each filled container weighs about 41 pounds, a little over 18 kilograms. Carrying those containers a short distance is no problem, but carrying them across the soft sand from my van to the build site will not be enjoyable. The third big limitation is that I do not have other people to help me. Most earth bag projects use a team of volunteers, which makes the work easier and the speed much faster. However, I'm in a very remote area, about 17 miles away from the nearest town, and I don't even know anyone in that town. Another big challenge is the wind. I'm beginning this project during the windy season. During my first few days at the site, winds occasionally blew up to 45 miles per hour, creating dust storms where I could not even see more than a few meters ahead, even though there was not a cloud in the sky. Inhaling flying sand and silica can be very bad for the lungs, so I'm going to wear a respirator while working. This, along with a cover to protect my head from the intense sun exposure, makes for an interesting look. The land has slight variations in elevation, so I chose the highest area to begin building on. Doing this should help protect the building from flooding during the monsoon season, which occurs every summer. I'm planning to build a 14-foot diameter circular earth bag dome, something similar to this. The first task is to clear an area of land and then create a circle using a spike at the center location which has a piece of PVC pipe attached to it. This circle will be my guideline for the walls. I want the floor of the building to be between two and three feet below ground so I'm going to dig out the circle. Once the earth was removed from the circle, I still had to hand sculpt the circle's edges and then try to make the inside floor as level as possible. Also, I dug out another several inches around the interior edge of the circle. This will allow the first layer of earth bags to sit in a sort of pocket, giving the first layer a bit more stability. My main tools from this point forward are a pickaxe, a shovel, and a tamper. The pickaxe is used to loosen soil, the shovel is used to get soil into the bags, and the tamper is used to compress each layer of filled bags. Most earth bag builders recommend putting a base of gravel underneath the first layer of earth bags and filling the first several layers of earth bags with gravel as well. The gravel creates a moisture beard. This protects the earth bag walls, which are above the gravel bags, from becoming moist if there is any water exposure at the ground level. If I were to use gravel in this way, I would have to have the gravel delivered three quarters of a mile away from the job site and then haul it one wheelbarrow at a time to the building site. This would take a huge amount of time and would be physically exhausting. So, I came up with an alternative idea to protect my bags from potential water damage. I purchased this roll of plastic sheeting from Home Depot and laid it out around the circle perimeter. The idea is that the plastic will wrap around underneath all of the lower bags and rise feet on both the inside and the outside, preventing water from getting into those lower level bags. Will it work? I hope so.
Now I'm ready to begin filling the earth bags and building the walls. I'll show you that in the next video.